seems to be the big thing now. Plastic straws are, they're gonna destroy the planet. So I'm starting to put those in here. Where the little mermaid's collecting them. She's doing her part for the planet. Uh, Jeff Gillette, artist, high school teacher, provocateur, charlatan, <laughs> you name it. I think when you look at most of my art, I don't put people in it. So the human element is usually just not there, not present. And the reason for that is you bring in the human element and that becomes a focus. I want the focus as the scenario, the scenery, the slumscape, I call it, the architecture, which I find beautiful. You bring people into it as a painting and then you start getting into feeling sorry for them. And what I find being there is they have a really hard life. They got to deal with a lot of crap, a lot of inconvenience, but they have what's important to them. They have their friends, family, religion, they get free school. Uh, I was a month in India right before monsoon. Thank God that that summer monsoon came late. And my objective then was to put up a facade of a Disneyland castle on the side of the railroad tracks where there's a big row of shanties, slums. So they get this big Disneyland castle and then shacks. And that's what I did. And it took me like two weeks just to get permissions pay off mafia, pay off people to help me, and then we put it up in one day. Uh, really, during the actual construction of it, the, the people were really cool where they were helping. So I had people from the community, because I had these guys I paid, I think three guys I paid, and then people from the community just saw what we were doing, thought it was cool, and they were helping. So when we had these big things that were 28 foot tall, falling, you know, people would run up and grab and push it up. This one guy jumped up, up onto a roof and secured it with bamboo and all this stuff and I, don't know, I didn't know who he was. A week later we did kind of like a, a thing to pay back some of the kindness so we had a, a, a day of Disney with the kids. So the kids all came, we had candy, we had soft drinks and we had lots of art supplies so we had them make little Mickey ears and design them and put them on their heads and I don't know, it was great. It's about, about four hours of fun with them. Yeah, I went back again for, I went back to India for spring break. And uh, again, I meet a friend who's actually teaching at Art Center in Pune, which is outside of, uh, outside of Mumbai where I go. And we got together and we're planning stuff. So I did, I did a couple little things. But one thing I did is I brought a stencil of Minxie, my character that's half Mickey Mouse, half Banksy Rat. And I put him, uh, we were going to put him on a wall, but my friend, who's Indian, he thought, yeah, he didn't like the intrusion of putting art on someone's thing. So I thought, okay, but we found this big piece of plywood. So I put the thing, I put the stencil on there, taped it down. I had four fluorescent colors and a bunch of kids around. And I thought instead of me doing it, I gave the kids the cans, shook them up for them, showed them how to use it. And they're little kids and they couldn't even push the lever down. They're using both thumbs and they did a really cool job on it. And the fun part is they painted the stencil I stuck it in front of something and photographed it. And then the kids took that spray paint and just went nuts on these walls. <laughs> just like tagging the hell out of stuff. <laughs>